So what do you do when you have some non-working iPhones and you have a bow? You shoot it, of course. What else would you do, right? That's a stupid question. <laughs> no, so today we're going to be shooting this iPhone 6. I have two of them. I'm just going to be shooting one. So drop it down in the comments what you want to sh see me uh, do with that other iPhone. I'm just going to shoot one today. I have another one. So how we're going to have this set up is I'm going to be at 20, 20 yards. I have a, a phone downrange hanging from a charging cord. I'm going to be standing behind this tree in case that bow, uh, that arrow does decide to ricochet. Um, hopefully it does not. But we're going to see what happens when you shoot an iPhone with a bow. I've seen this done with uh, firearms and it got me thinking. What would happen if you shoot it with a bow? Would, it, would the, would the uh, broadhead get stuck in the phone? Or is it going to make an all the way clean pass? We're about to find out. Um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Definitely subscribe and like this video. Uh, <laughs> just something I want to throw together and see what the hell happens, honestly. Just to go over some of the broadheads I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using these broadheads. I get them for about a dollar online on Amazon. I'll leave it down the link for anybody who is interested in these broadheads. These arrows, these arrows are about four bucks at Walmart, five bucks at Walmart. If y'all are interested in some cheap arrows, I can leave them down in the description as well. I'm going to walk down range and uh, show you uh, the setup for the phone. So it's a nice cloudy day. It's been drizzling all day, so it's a little cool. Expected to get a little colder. Uh, I'm going to show you right now what this, uh, what the setup's going to look like. So I do have a good backstop back in here. It's about 12 to 15 feet of clay, so an arrow's not going to go through there. We got the phone. Got the phone charger. Phone charger is just tucked away behind the target. And we got the GoPro. Basically how this is gonna work is I'm gonna put that GoPro on slow-mo. Um, we're gonna see if we can get it slowed down a lot to hopefully get it to see the actual um, penetration point of this arrow and to see everything in a slow motion effect. I'm gonna try to slow it down as much as possible, as much as I can get it. And uh, check it out on camera once it's all done. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Robert. Welcome to Carrasco Ranch. And if you are new, you might not know that I provide some type of inspiration or motivation once a week in one of my videos. So the inspiration for this week is enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey of to success. There's going to be a lot of failures on that road. Trust me, we've all been there. Um, if you're not failing, that means you're not trying. So definitely go out there. And uh, enjoy the journey, guys. Wherever you're headed to, whatever your goals are, enjoy the journey. Because many people who have made it to their goals or made it to the top, they definitely say that the journey was the most enjoyable part of that um, experience. So enjoy those experiences. Take a lot from it. There's no losses, guys. There's only lessons learned. Alright guys, so I actually have to take out my actual hunting arrows um, because that, that arrow that I was using what had been, has been through hell and back, literally. I've had that thing for years and it's just a throwaway arrow. A uh, cheap arrow and it wasn't flying straight. Um, I just take it out every now and then just basically to mark stuff. I don't ever really shoot with it. But because I was going to be probably destroying that arrow, I thought I'd just go ahead and use it. Hoping it would fly straight, but it doesn't fly straight. Um, it took me, well, three shots with that crappy arrow and then two shots with my actual hunting arrow to hit the uh, the phone so this is what it looks like I left the case on there because most of us have cases on our phones and to make it as realistic as possible I wanted to see what would happen if you actually shoot um, an iPhone with a broadhead with the case on so that's the reason I left it on there this is the front of the phone here that's what it looks like guys pretty cool huh <laughs> But it made it, it made it through. Um, definitely wouldn't go all the way through, if, say, if you had it in your chest pocket and somebody shot an arrow at you. Hopefully nobody ever does. But if that ever did happen, it would give you a good little punch, but probably won't go through. So don't ever try that at home. But um, 
just cool to do. So just so you know, like just just for your reference, that's the uh, that orange one. That orange arrow is that crappy arrow. It's just a literally a practice arrow. Not even that. I really don't use it for practicing anyway. But since I thought I was gonna be destroying that arrow, I decided to pull it out. But um, it's not gonna work. So that was the the green ones are the uh, my actual hunting arrows, which I didn't mind using because years ago. I think Academy Academy made a mistake in labeling these. So these retail for about forty to sixty dollars. I got them for five dollars a box for six. So of course I did what any any normal person would do. I bought a shitloads of them. So I bought a whole bunch of these arrows. So I've had these for years, and I still use these. In case anybody was wondering how my dollar broadheads hold up, that's what they do. Dollar broadheads, guys. I use these for hunting. I have a ton of them since they are a dollar. I literally, I literally have like two dozen um, back home. So this is this is what I use for hunting, and uh, they hold up pretty well. Um, when you do hit bone on an animal, they will chip, but most uh, most broadheads uh, will take some damage if they do hit bone anyway. So, um, without further ado, guys, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless.